Hello friends, in this video I am going to cover about some of the business objects interview questions, what are the topics we should be preparing. Uh, the practical examples I already covered in and uh, uh, the video links for this uh, videos are available in this video description, you can go through it. Uh, those uh, are some of the complicated uh, topics which I have explained with the practical example. But in this video I am going to uh, tell you what are the different uh, areas we should be preparing in terms of the business objects. Apart from business objects, what are the different uh, questions may be asked around the SQL or the databases side? What are the questions can be asked about the data warehouse or the data uh, data modeling as well? So uh, please watch this video till the end so uh, so that it will be helpful for you. So to start with this uh, business objects interview preparation, so we should be preparing uh, one checklist for the business objects interview. So this is one checklist which I have provided, and in this checklist you will see uh, I have covered. Uh, most of the important topics that uh, on, on which the questions will be asked. So uh, this is something which is uh, the checklist we should be preparing and in, the, in uh, with respect to this checklist we should be preparing for the business objects interviews. So let's uh, see these uh, topics one by one what are the things we should be uh, covering. So now the first point about is the uh, tools which you have worked. Whether you have uh, some uh, junior level experience or senior level experience or uh, you have just started learning this tool. So these are the tools which you should be able to understand. So it comes about the US design tool, then it comes about the inform information design tool and uh, the reach, uh, reach client or uh, reporting side. So based on the versions, business objects versions you have used, you should be able to tell I mean, which version you have uh, used or you have worked. And based on that tool, what are the uh, what are the tools like university you know, design uh, design tool you have used or uh, information design tool you have used. Apart from these tools, you should be able to understand the BI Launchpad and the Central Management Console as well CMC. So you should be able to uh, explain the usage of this uh, BI Launchpad and the uh, CMC uh, as well because uh, what are the things which we can do with the uh, CMC as well. So this these things we should be able to tell. Now let's come to the inverse design part. So inverse design part is one thing where we should be able to tell uh, what are the different different uh, steps to create the inverse and what is the inverse as well. So uh, here I am just taking the information design tool uh, because that is the uh, tool which is being used in the latest version of the business objects and uh, so uh, what are the different areas of the inverse design tool that I am going to tell. So the critical concepts about the uh, uh, universe design is the understanding of the universe. So universe is the semantic layer of the uh, between the technical tables and uh, the business layer. So uh, it is it is required to have the business uh, terms uh, to be created. Uh, so that's the, that's why we need a universe. So we should be have a clear understanding of the uh, business objects and universe. Now how to create the universe? So these are some simple steps to create uh, the universe. So basically. When, when we say about the information design tool, uh, it comes about the th uh, three steps which, which is one is um, data connections, the second one is the data foundation and the third one is the business uh, layer. So these, these three topics we should be able to understand uh, its purpose. Uh, so in data connection you should be able to tell that you can connect to the single source and multi source uh, database connections. So if you have project experience in the while connecting to the different data sources, then it's uh, very good to explain. But if you don't have the experience, then it's better it's better just to tell me what are the different different uh, data providers we can connect uh, with the single source and what is the multi-source uh, data connection as well. So once we have these data connections and how to create that as well, so you should be able to tell that. Now second part is the data foundation. So when it comes to the data foundation, we should be able to uh, tell how to add the data database tables in this. So there are um, how to insert the database tables. So you should be able to tell me how to add uh, database tables and the adding the joins between the tables. So joins is important thing. There are different 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 types of the joins which are available. So it comes to the inner join, left outer join, right outer join. So you should be able to tell these joins as well uh, very uh, well means how it works. Now once we have the joins, uh, it may be uh, it may happen that there uh, there are different different loops uh, occurs between the uh, tables. So to resolve these loops, what are the different ways to uh, to resolve these loops? So there are two ways basically: alias creating an alias table or creating a context. So how to create context and what are the different tables involved in the context? So that we should be able to tell. There is one important topic uh, concepts about the transactional tables and the dimension tables as well. You should be able to identify which are the 
uh, transaction tables or fact tables uh, or which are the dimension tables. So this is also one important thing. Once we have set these uh, dimensions, uh, uh, data foundations, uh, uh, context created based on the loops, uh, there is also one important topic about the fan traps or the chask traps. So fan traps and chask traps is one important concept where you should be able to tell what is it and why it occurs and how it can affect if, if these traps are on, uh, are available in your universe. So if you don't resolve these uh, traps, or it may affect, uh, give um, more records than uh, expected. So this, this you should be able to explain. Now, once you are able to uh, uh, create these uh, loops, data foundation, um, context and all those things about the data foundation, there are, uh, next area is about the parameters and uh, list of values. So why parameters we needed? What are the list of values? What are the different ways of or types of creating a list of values? That uh, in list of values you should be able to tell uh, creating static list of values. Then um, dynamic uh, based on uh, SQL uh, SQL query we can create a list of values or uh, just uh, uh, based on the business layer objects. So there are three three different ways uh, to create the list of values and how it can be used in the reports uh, that we should be able to explain now. Once we have done this, uh, then there is a navigation path is another concept where uh, it comes about the parent child hierarchy or wherever, wherever you need a hierarchy uh, defined um, uh, like top level to next level. So that kind of hierarchy is when we need to define the US, uh, then that, that also you should be able to tell how it, uh, it, it is to be created and how it, it can be used in the report. So for that you need to have an understanding of the reports which is drill down reports so for drill down reports we need a navigation path or the uh, hierarchies to be set so this is all about the data foundation which, which we should be able to tell now uh, the, there is one important concept about, about the data foundation or maybe uh, in the universe it is aggregate awareness so aggregate awareness is the one thing which is very critical and uh, we should be able to tell it uh, uh, very well because this is this is a complicated uh, topic and if you are able to answer this uh, clearly or com confidently then uh, th that will be a defining moment for you because uh, this is very critical and if you have experience uh, working on it then it, it is going to help you to explain that so if you have not got a chance to work on this then uh, learn about this try to prepare some of the examples try to understand the uh, aggregated tables how um, how we can create the um, aggregate awareness functions how to set the comp compatibility of the aggregate awareness in the in information design tool once you, once you understand this then uh, there are uh, other things about the business layer object so third third and critical uh, point about the us is the business layer so once once we have the data foundation ready then we can create a business layer so in business layer, there are dimensions, measures, and detail objects, and the predefined filters. So these are the four important things which we should be able to tell uh, in the business layer. And um, what is dimensions, what is measures. So you should be able to tell the differences between them as well. There are some other questions uh, can be asked about, uh, about the aggregated function like some uh, or delegated uh, uh, function uh, which are used in the business layer. So that is also you can um, uh, try to prepare. Now, once we have the universe ready, how to publish that? So that is also you should be able to understand. So publishing a universe to the repository is one important thing that you should be able to uh, tell. Now, once we have all this, then let's uh, come to the reporting side. So a reporting side is means creating reports. So it's creating a report is just a simple thing, but there are many different things which we can create in the uh, reports. So what, what are the things which we can create? So graphical uh, charts, cross tables, uh, vertical table, horizontal table. There are different uh, ways to represent the, our data which are coming from the universe. So that it will be helpful. So if you have experience in comp creating complicated uh, reports which involve uh, different different summary level data, uh, detail level data, uh, different cross tabs or maybe gra graphs. It would be helpful. Uh, you can prepare around that as well, and you can answer the questions easily. If you haven't got that much experience to create the complicated uh, reports, then try to understand many things. So uh, basically, uh, the important concepts around uh, reporting is uh, breaks, then sections, and uh, differences between breaks and sections. So this is one important concept, and you should be able to uh, explain that as well. Uh, the other important uh, topic is about the calculation context. So calculation context is one thing which is, you should be able to tell me what is calculation context. 
and it uh, basically it comes about the um, for each and for all uh, topics so once we have this all the uh, questions with the business objects there are reporting side questions uh, which which all uh, additionally can ask be about the uh, variables uh, or functions different functions used about the uh, parameters about the uh, query filter uh, nested filter um, how it works or uh, database ranking uh, when when multiple queries has been uh, used uh, in the report uh, or multiple uss uh, ha has been used in the report then how their objects can be merged and how the synchronization will work so that you should be able to now uh, once we have this all these questions uh, around the business objects reports or business objects universe then it may be uh, possible that you sh you can uh, it, it can possible um, there are other questions around the sql side because sql is also important uh, things which if you have a, a knowledge on sql queries it would be helpful to prepare uh, for this um, sql is one thing where you should be able to uh, tell means um, what are uh, like dml statement or uh, ddl statement or dcl statement so these are the different things which we should be able to tell uh, there are some questions around maybe our group by or group by having or um, having exist um, kind of things there are some aggregated functions how uh, aggregated functions used at the square level so you, if you are able to explain that with the example as well it will be helpful. there may be some questions thrown uh, with some example to prepare some query so if you have um, your co basic concepts clear then you can write uh, such queries as well if any other questions there will be some questions around the data warehouse or the data uh, modeling because uh, it is not that much important but if you have understanding some of the question, basic questions you should be able to answer what is data warehouse what is uh, data modeling as the one thing other thing is about the business objects uh, we can say maybe some questions around the central management console or um, bi launchpad will also uh, be asked um, in terms of central management console you should be able to understand the user's roles and security uh, then you should be able to understand the publication as well so suppose you have um, worked on some of the publications and then it, 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 it may be possible that some of the questions will be asked around the publications as well so how it works what are the different ways to distribute the reports to different different users so so suppose you have worked on any publication things then you can explain that as well so now uh, there may be some questions around etl as well etl tool uh, uh, that is you may uh, might be might have worked on the sap business objects data services or some other tool like sql server integration services so uh, or any other uh, tool so that's it from this video if you have any questions or comments please do let me know what are the topics i have covered i know means this will be helpful for you and if you have any more suggestions please do let me know in the comment section if you are first to my channel then please do uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon as well so that you will get to not notified about my next videos uh, thank you for watching